Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Villascusa with Century 21 All-Stars. And today we're gonna to be working through how to add listings to your Agent Press Pro theme on your WordPress hosted website. So this is a site that I'm currently working on right now. You're gonna to wanna to go to that main web page, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. You'll be able to see login. Go ahead and click on that. And you're gonna enter in the username and password for this particular site to access it. And once you're inside, we're going to go on the left hand side, click on listings, add new. And now this is going to be your main dashboard for creating this new uh, listing page. So what you want to do is of course enter the full property address for this particular listing so we can just go ahead and uh, we'll just do this particular address or how about this and the reason we want to add this entire address is because we're looking to go after the search engines and we want uh, the search engines to instantly identify that this is our main keyword which is the full property address and that any variation even if they took road out or if it was made shorter we're not missing anything we want everything to be 100 percent included so the next portion of this is we're going to add media and as you can see it automatically created the hyperlink as well so you don't need to worry about creating that it does it for you automatically uh, so again, next portion is go ahead and drop your cursor into the uh, body of your uh, content page. Go ahead and click Add Media. Now I've already have photos in here and this is just an example, but typically you would want to use a picture of the front of the house, the best one that could describe the most about the home from one single photo, because this is the main photo that's going to be used primarily throughout the entire website as the first uh, thing that these uh, users will see. So we'll just go ahead and click on this one for now. If you didn't have these photos in here, you would need to click on upload photos and you would do the simple search on your computer for the photos uh, and upload them. And then it would take you to your media library where you would have them all in here. Okay, so I would recommend uploading them all at one time um, and then just having them in your media library, then you get to pick and choose uh, which photos you would like to use. Now when it comes to naming your photos, I highly recommend, again, including the full address uh, for the title and also for the alt text uh, of the photo. This is again for uh, search engine optimization to make sure that we're correctly uh, going after uh, the search engine keyword correctly. After we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and insert it into our post. But before we do that, we need to also make sure that on this particular instance, we're not going to have this picture linked to anything. So when they click on the picture, they're not, it's not going to enlarge the photo at all. All it is is just a picture for them to be able to view and, and this size, which is the medium size. So we'll go ahead and insert, it, insert that into our photo, and we have our photo now. Next portion, since it does not automatically do it, we want to do a line left. And the reason we want it to align left is when we're typing, we want the typing to go right next to the photo like so. So what goes right here is gonna be this again. We're gonna go ahead and put that right on top. There we go. And we're going to bold it. And I think some of this got messed up. No, that's good. Okay, so we're going to have the property address right next to the photo. And something did get messed up here, so let's do this again. Let's go ahead and erase our photo, take this to the top. We're going to add our photo again. Insert it back into our post. Again, a line left. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to get the text on top. We want it to be right next to it like so. And there we go. 
So now below it, you are going to want to put in the property description for this particular listing. So I already can get a good example. Let's just go ahead and jump over to this site right here. Okay, so this is typically the text that you're gonna be uh, inputting into your MLS. So I would just recommend having your MLS open so you can go ahead and copy and paste that information straight over into here, just like so. Next portion we're gonna enter down now. And now we're gonna start adding our property details about this particular property in these boxes. So custom text, this can be anything. This is just going to give you a nice wrapper for this pro particular property and it will look like so on the listing. So you can make it say whatever you want, just listed, just sold, uh, pending, duplex, great income property, whatever you want it to say. But for this one, we're just gonna, we'll just put uh, just remodeled. Okay, now we're gonna go down to price and whatever the price is, put in the dollar points the commas like so for the address we're gonna just put the uh, address for the property city whatever the city is the property is in of course the state the zip code if you had the MLS number I would recommend putting in so whatever that number may be the square footage you do need to put the comma bedrooms baths if there's a basement, you can put zero, NA, either character will work uh, in these examples. And we're gonna go ahead and click on send to text editor. So what it's gonna do is put in this little piece of code, code right here, and it's going to automatically populate this nice table into your post. So don't worry that it doesn't have it like so in here. It will do it once it goes onto your site. So go ahead and click on enter again. The next portion of this is we're gonna be entering map and bed code. So I recommend going to Google Maps. So maps.google.com, putting in your property address. Okay, here it is. We're gonna go ahead and click on share, embed map. And we're gonna get this iframe code up on the top. But first, let's try to see what size it's giving us. Okay, the size is 600 width, which is good. We want to make sure that it is wide enough to fit our screen. So we're gonna copy that, jump back over to our text editor, and go ahead and paste that in there now. Now, one thing that we do need to do, because the way that the site works, it will not automatically center align this in our content paragraph we're gonna to have to add a short piece of code in order to do that. So to do that, you're gonna be adding one of these brackets, a little arrow, P, space, align, equals quotation mark, center, and quotation mark, then the opposite Pac-Man sign, and then down at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and do the Pac-Man sign like so, forward slash P, and then the end Pac-Man sign. And now we're gonna go ahead and add that to the text editor. So now we have our property details, we have our property map. Go ahead and click on enter. So bring our cursor back down again. And now we're going to be entering video embed code. So for this, we do need to jump over to YouTube. And I'm just gonna click on any photo or any video, sorry. And we'll just click on this one. Okay. And once you get to the video, you're gonna click on share, embed, and you can see that it's already the size that we would like at the 600 pixels wide. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that code. Again, jump back over to our editor, paste that code in there, and we're gonna add our short code again for the alignment of the center. And 
and make sure that you put all the quotations. Um, you end, you gotta make sure you put these on both sides. You gotta make sure you put this forward slash at the end of this on this side. It has to be exactly like this or it will not work. Um, and you're gonna end up getting some code just written as plain text and it will not look pretty. And it may drive you a little crazy because you're having to do um, some extra work going back and forth trying to figure out what you did wrong. Okay, but it should be an easy fix even if you do uh, incorrectly put that code in. So now we have everything in. The only thing that's left to do is we would like to have all the photos of this particular property on our site as well. So we're going to go ahead, again, make sure our cursor is below all of our previous uh, entries. Click on Add Media. We're going to create a gallery. And then we're going to click on all the photos that you would like to have included. Okay. Now we're going to click on Create New Gallery. And now we can rearrange these in any order that we would like. Typically, you're going to start from the front of the home and go all the way through the home into the backyard. Now you can order it in any way you want. You can click on random order if you would like to, but just if you want a nice clean flow, that's the order in which you would like to do it. Uh, now, when it, the link to is going to go to the attachment page. So that's basically what if they click on it, it's going to pop up and give them a nice uh, enlarged shot of that particular photo. We're going to have three columns. You can do more, but three is probably the best way of going about doing it. And the size is going to be medium. So they're going to be a nice, uh, good size on the screen without even having to click on a photo to get a good view of what that particular photo may be about. And after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and click on Insert into Gallery. And now all of our beautiful photos have been inserted into the uh, post. Now with photos that are taken uh, in the portrait versus landscape position, this will be the landscape, this is now the portrait, you're going to get this variation that will uh, kind of mess up the way it may look so it doesn't look perfectly clean like this. So it's not that big of a deal um, because the photos are taken that way, but if you don't like it, you can certainly remove this photo from this particular uh, gallery so that way they all look nice and block and uniform. Okay, next portion of this is now we're going to come down to theme SEO settings. So the custom document title is typically what the property is and what the call to action is that we're trying to make. So we're going to put um, home for sale at 9155 Telegraph Road, Pico Rivera, California 90660. The custom post page meta description, this is what is used in the search results that people can search for and find you this particular listing. And this is going to be a little bit of call to action about your particular property. So just go ahead and copy and paste this back down here again because the keyword that we do want is home for sale. The second keyword we want is the property address. So home for sale at such and such address. Uh, click to view more photos, video, or we actually not video, we're going to say virtual tour, and schedule a private showing. So you want to put in what, again, the what it is what it is it about and then what why they're going to click on it so they want to click on it because you have photos you have a virtual tour and they have the ability to schedule a private showing so it's a nice call to action in there directly in google and search engines doing that for you now on the custom post page meta uh, keywords comma and you got to separate it by comma so this is going to be home for sale and you're going to put the city which is pico Rivera, um, if it had a particular area, like if this was in the Downey, you would maybe want to put Northeast Downey. Uh, you know, all these different keywords that pertain to this particular listing is what you're going to put in there. Again, the property address, so 91, 55 Telegraph Road, okay, and so on. 
So after we're done with that, we're gonna come down to layout setting. We can skip these. You don't need to worry about these parts right here. Okay, come down to layout settings. We're gonna click on the first one right here, which is this box. So make sure you always click on this before you publish your page. And we don't need to worry about these. So next is gonna be the featured image. So the featured image is again, what the image is gonna be that's published all across the site. So we're going to, I think we use this one, so we're gonna go ahead and set that as the featured image. Next is how many bathrooms does this property have? So I believe I put two for this one, so go ahead and select on two. If it's not in here, go ahead and click on add bathroom and go ahead and put that number in there. You don't need to put two and a half or one and a half. It's, if it's a one and a half, just say it's two. And if it's two and a half, just say it's three, because technically at that point it is. And for bedrooms, go ahead, we're up to this one, it's three. And if you needed to add more, you could by adding new bedroom. Location, so we're gonna just put Pico Rivera, since this is Pico Rivera, but if that wasn't the city, again, click on add new location. Next one is the price range, so zero to 300,000, whatever the price range may be, and I believe we put 500, so we're gonna click 500 to a million. Um, typically, you would wanna just do price ranges, this way it doesn't confuse your user too much, and you wanna give them a nice breakdown of the different uh, price uh, variations that could apply uh, to your site. Next is gonna be the property type. So is it a foreclosure, probate? I would put remodeled, so go ahead and check remodeled or short sale, standard sale. If your isn't in here, it's a different type. You just click on add new type and again add it. And the status, uh, I didn't put a status on this one, but we'll just say it's active, it's a brand new listing. And if that your status wasn't on here, you would go ahead and add a new status. Now features on this, you can actually choose from the most used features, which I recommend doing so you're not duplicating uh, particular uh, features and you can keep your site more in tune with the same features and less uh, cluttered so to speak with different variations of certain things so uh, let's just go ahead and say it has an AC a covered patio a fireplace a granite countertops so it has an island it has a large living room and you know and it's Spanish style whatever whatever you want to put so you just click on those and they'll automatically populate as features. Now, if the feature isn't in here, you go ahead and just type it in here, how the way you would want it to be displayed on your site and click add. Once we're all finished, I would recommend proofreading your work, making sure that there was no typos with anything, that everything does look to be in the correct form. And then you would go ahead and click on publish. So I'm gonna click on publish and it'll get working. And a good way to test it to make sure everything came out correctly is go ahead and right click on view listing, open link a new tab. And now we are on our new listing page and everything does appear to look correct. Our map was center, our video is center, our photos are now here. We can click on our photo and we can beautifully go through all the photos on our site now and scroll down and our features were added as well which you can see right here and what this will do is say they're searching and they say okay well I want to see what Luther may have as uh, air conditioned homes they can click on AC homes and they can see all the different homes now listed that have air conditioning by Luther Sanchez we can also go to his main page and we can now see this new listing that's been published right here okay this has been a tutorial by Jonathan Villascusa. I hope it has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, make sure you post them on this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and again, thank you for watching.